Oh, that's Oscar-winning actor Ernest Borgnine, who's been starring on the big and small screen for more than six decades. He is 94 years young. He is still going strong now. The Poseidon Adventure, you might remember, came out in 1972. It is constantly being rediscovered by new generations, and it's being shown at a special event at the Hollywood Boulevard Theater in Woodridge tomorrow night. A lot of the cast members also are going to be there for the celebration, including our guest here in the State Street studio today, Ernest Borgnine. Welcome. We are so happy to have Thank you here you, with Linda. us. It's, okay. a, it's a pleasure and a privilege to be here. It's good to see you. Now, before we get into the showing of the Poseidon sure. Adventure, a lot of stars are talking today about their memories of Elizabeth Taylor. And you were telling me that you have a, a good story to share about her. I'll never forget. One morning I was going to work. I was working at the time at, at MGM. And I saw a great commotion. And a car pulled up, a big car, you know, the limousine. And I got out behind mine, you know, yeah. my little old buggy, and yeah. got out, and I said, what's happening? I said, Elizabeth Taylor, Elizabeth She's Taylor. Here. I said, well, well what's this, what's this, what is she doing? Oh, she's getting ready to make a picture here, and she's here with uh, Mike Todd, her oh. husband. I said, oh, that's nice. And then suddenly I saw the two of them, and they were embracing and kissing, and all they makeup people were out there ready to, you know, take her in and yes. make her all up and everything else. And that's the last I saw of her until one day I, I was at at um, a big thing where they, where they had for AIDS and everything else. And um, there she was uh, yeah. doing her AIDS thing. Yeah. And uh, she it's was great. quite a person, I'll tell it's you. She was great, too, yeah. And you got the same kind of treatment, too. You got the same kind of treatment, too. Let's talk about after well, you Well, I did. don't know. I'll tell you, you know... You look back and, and you say, um, I, I, I was reading a paper this morning where it said she's a tremendous star. She was a yes, tremendous star. Yes, absolutely. But uh, suddenly I started thinking of Betty Davis. Some great, great stuff. And Catherine star. Hepburn mm -hmm. and Sophia Loren. And it That's goes true. on and on. Yeah. Greta Garbo. Yes. And you know, she was a great star in her own right, but... Um, Boy, she had some. She had some competition there too. She did too. But let's talk about the movie. All right, beside sure. the adventure, almost forty years ago that it was made. So why does it have this staying power? Why do people come back to it now? It's a good question. <laughs> uh, I tell you, I've done uh, things on on board ship uh, where where I took a, a trip out on a on a steamer, you know, and uh, they'd show the Poseidon Adventure, and right. the people say, "Do we have to see this?" <laughs> and said, well, it's part of my livelihood. Are you kidding? That's right. <laughs> but it but it, it, it's one of those kind of pictures that people kind of enjoy to mm -hmm. see because they're so dastardly afraid of it, you know? Right. And and I think that that measures up to the point where they say, well, I, you know, I, well, I... Yeah. But yeah. they would, you know. <laughs> they still want to, right. Okay, so let's talk about McHale's Navy, too, all right? Most people really, really remember you from that TV series. And um, it didn't run for that many years, right? But it's still being seen and being seen and being seen. It's still being seen, thank goodness, and, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful... You know, I did everything in McHale's Navy that I couldn't do in the regular Navy. Yeah, right. And I'll never forget, we had a, 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 an officer, a regular Navy officer, who was there... Uh, watching this whole deal, and after the first day, he said, what are we shooting here? Uh -huh. I said, McHale's Navy. He said, but it's not the Navy. I you said, said, of course no, not, it's McHale. Not, it's McHale's Navy. It's McHale's, right, and that was your <laughs> Navy, too. He said, don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> and you left the Navy at what rank? I was a uh, gunner's mate first class, and I was 28 years of age. Yeah. And uh, that's when I went home, and I, my mother looked at me one day, and she said, what's the matter, Ernie? Because I had been looking for work, and I couldn't yeah. see myself locked up in a in... factory. And she said, what's the matter? And I said, Mom, for two cents, I'll go back into service and do my other 10 years and get a pension. But she said, said, have you ever thought of becoming an actor? She and says, the rest... you always like to make a darn fool right. yourself in front of people. Why don't <laughs> well, you give it a for try? It. I said, Mom, that's what I'm going to be. And the rest is and history, right? And 10 years right? later... Grace Kelly is handing me an Oscar. I know. Isn't that wonderful? That's great. It's good to have you here. Thank we are you. so it's pleased. To violate the no-fly zone. 